How y'all doing? Happy New Year. <laughs> oh. I don't cope with lockdown well. Okay, motivation. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Basically, I was gonna spend a day with me, so let's go. I just spilled milk on my titties. It is a little bit late, not gonna lie. Like, honestly, all sleep schedules have just been out the window this lockdown. I would be getting up until like 10, half past 10, which is so bad. And then by the time I'm ready, it's like four o'clock, it's pitch black, and I'm like, okay, I wanna go back to bed now. Honestly, it's just ugh. It makes you feel like crap. I don't want to say like the first lockdown was easier because I would not want to relive that in a million years. Dreadful. But it was somewhat helpful with it being summer. Like it was warm so you weren't like cooped up in your house. You could go outside or at least sit in your garden. If I tried that now, I'd bloody freeze my existence. It's off. Do you know what I mean? Like nipples to the wind. They turn to ice cream cones. Fingers crossed it's for the best and everything gets somewhat back to normal soon. I'm not holding out hope though because basically it just feels like we're reliving last year yeah part of the reason why i've really not been on youtube to be honest it's really hard to try to do these videos and make you guys happy when i don't even feel happy myself if that makes sense but yeah we're gonna try and get back on it today i do have something quite fun actually planned so i'm hoping that will brighten up this vlog a little bit <laughs> I actually never used to be a person that would make my bed. I was so lazy that to just leave it until I climbed back into it at night. But now I can't go about my day if it's not made. So she's nice and tidy, she's nice and cute. I'm not going to put any makeup on today just because I only really do that if I'm taking Instagram content, which today I am not. And I'm not just gonna put makeup on for the sake of a vlog because you guys have seen me without makeup a plenty of times So I don't feel the need to do so, but this is my cute little headband I'll link it below if you're interested. I literally wear this every day Like if you guys follow me on Instagram, you see me in this so often But because I'm not wearing makeup, I'm just gonna do my morning sort of skincare I have already washed my face with the CeraVe moisturizing facial wash. It's the one with the green lid not the blue one. Love that. Literally, it's like £9, I think. And it works wonders for my skin because it doesn't make it go like super tight and dried out like a lot of other face washes did. But I'll quickly just show you the products I use. It's nothing like major. I use the Skin Proud Smooth Talk Hydrating Serum, whatever you want to call it. This, I don't really know what it does, but it makes my skin feel nice and soft. It makes it look lovely and glowy. So I just whack that on. I'm not really like massively into skincare, so like... Don't take tips from me because I'm not going to lie to you, I have zero clue what I'm talking about. Which is the case for most things, I'm not going to lie. And then I go in with the Glow Hub Cool Whip Moisturiser. This is the Hemp and Ho Ho the one. I think they do different like scents because I've seen them in different colour tubs but this is the one in the mint green one. I've used quite a bit of this as you can tell but it's so nice and thick so if any of you out there have dry skin Maybe try this out because it's one of my faves and I'm pretty sure it's vegan and cruelty free as well. Nice. And then this is not really like an essential step at all to be honest but it's a Skin Proud um, Refreshing Facial Mist. I don't think this actually does anything but this would be perfect for summer if you had like a little skincare fridge to put this in because it will go really nice and cold and just be like a nice mist on your face and it smells incredible. And then, where my lip balm is, I go in with the Mario Badescu lip balm. I do actually have this in mint as well, which Tara got me for Christmas. But I'm trying to use this one up first because I have like 10 lip balms on the go and it's getting really stressful. So we're going to use this up before I decide to dig into any new ones. But yeah, that is my morning sort of face. If I'm not wearing makeup, I'm going to quickly just run the straighteners of my hair to go through any lumps and bumps and then I can get dressed and we can get on with the day. Hair is straight, looking cute. I actually forget how much I like my hair straight. Like when I curl it for it straight, when it's straight up for it curly, it's like a back and forth situation. But I'm going to get changed into something slightly more appropriate. Um, Nothing like too 
fancy, you know, it's actually just a chill day, so it's probably going to be a hoodie and leggings, but I'll show you when I pick it out what I'm going to wear. I was not like when I said this off, it's going to be the most basic thing you've ever seen in your life, but I have these little grey sort of bluey, I don't even know what you call this colour, leggings from Primark. They're from the gym sort of workout section. Literally wear these 24-7, they're so comfy. This hoodie is from Cold Prince. It is the Dave and George Smith one kindly sent to me so thank you to cold prints it's like the comfiest thing ever to wear and um, my chain is from urban outfits which i'm gonna put on these little gold hoops from boohoo which i literally wear every single day They're like the nicest little hoops and then obviously my nike socks which i just took not took and um, pull over the top of the leggings because i feel like it looks really cute so that is today's outfit and i'll show you what it looks like when it is put together on me <laughs> cute Honestly, love this jumper so much. They have so many cute different prints. They actually have a scissor one coming out on the 1st of Feb, which I'm so excited to get my hands on. But actually, in the process of me getting dressed and changed, I actually got a parcel, which I ordered from Depop earlier this week. So I felt we could open it together in the vlog. So I'm going to pop you there. I already know what this is, obviously, because I've literally only ordered one thing off Depop. So we're going to hope that they fit. But it's literally been a nightmare to try and get my hands on leopard print pants, like flares, because everyone and their mum wants them at the minute. They'd really want the um, Topshop ones, which have been sold out for God knows how long. But I managed to find some Urban Outfitters ones off this girl on Depop, and they were only like £20 with free delivery, so I was like, thank you. Oh my God, how bloody cute. I hope these fit. I really hope these fit. They're from the, I think you said Urban Renewal? I don't really remember. Yeah, in an extra small. Can you tell I'm quite a fan of leopard print? I don't think you can, but these, oh my god, they're so groovy. Yes. Fingers crossed they look cute, and then hopefully you'll probably see them on my Instagram pretty soon with some cute little outfits. But yeah, that was my little unboxing of my new flares. Pretty cute, pretty cute. I just realised I didn't even actually tell you, why it's so zoomed in, what I was actually going to do today. But obviously there was like the trend last lockdown of everybody tie-dyeing the clothes, which looking back at it now, I don't know how that ever was a thing. Like at the time I was obsessed with it, but now I'm like, wow, that was literally not even a year ago and I wouldn't be seeing dead in that anymore. But the new sort of trend seems to be brown clothing, which again, I don't think it's gonna last very long, so I don't wanna be spending loads of money buying brown items of clothing that are probably not gonna be the in thing, which I don't really mind anyway because I'm not the sort of person that cares about what's in. Like if I like something, I'll just wear it anyway. But I do have some white clothes, which are looking a little bit worse to wear that I thought, you know what, let's just get some brown clothing dye and give it a go. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna try to do it outside though. Don't really think my mum would appreciate me dyeing clothes in my bedroom because it might be a little bit messy. So I guess that's what we're gonna go do now. Let's go dye some clothes. I have no idea if this is going to actually work or turn out, but I've got my clothes in there. So I've got a white pair of joggers and a white long sleeve top. And then I've got my hot water in here. And then these are the dyes that I bought. They're the Dylon Espresso Brown. These are from Amazon. They're literally like £3 each. And then I also got the one that goes in the washing machine, but my mum refuses to let me put dark brown dye in the washing machine and to be honest I don't blame her but I'm going to mix up the dye and then I'm just going to get dunking and stirring and mixing and whatever else you do to dye clothes and then hope that these end up brown so I'm just going to pour in this dye which I've mixed with 500 grams of warm water and then I'm going to put in 250 grams of salt I am going to put another packet of this dye in, so there will be two packets of dye in with the two items of clothing to hopefully get it to like a darker shade of brown. Um, but yeah, so I've been mixing this for like 15 minutes now, but it says I've got to leave it and then just come back and stir it over the next 45 minutes, like just back and forth. So that is what I'm going to do and I'll show you what it looks like once I've rinsed it off and everything and it's like fully, completely dry, but for now... I'm gonna make some food. Rightio, so I'm gonna quickly make myself some dinner. I do have this quite often, so if you do follow me on Instagram, you'll see this on my story quite a bit. I do usually have it with chipolata sausages, but we don't have any, so today I'm gonna to be having chicken, rice, broccoli, and then in the rice, I put Chinese five spice, which is amazing, and soy sauce to make it like a Chinese rice beautiful and then i top it off with sweet chili sauce sounds a lot fancier than it is it's just a really easy quick little meal to make and i like it so that's what i'm gonna have for my dinner so this is really quick and easy to do basically i just take the already 
cooked bag rice and I basically just put that into a frying pan and then take some dark soy sauce and pour a little bit of that on top and then mix it in to kind of make sure all the rice gets the colour and then I put on the Chinese five spice, this is just one from Sainsbury's and try not put too much of this in because it's very strong and then I mix that in with the rest of the rice which is already with the soy sauce and then I did already cook some broccoli so I'm just gonna put that in there obviously make sure it's probably cooked before you put it in and then also the chicken which I cooked in the oven beforehand I just chopped that up into smaller little chunks and popped that in too like I said I do put a bit of the Heinz sweet chilli sauce on top and then stir that in just to kind of give it a little bit of extra flavour I guess I got me some dinner honestly if you guys are like lazy like me and don't like cooking meals that take forever this is one of the best things to make it really fills you up as well because I can <laughs> never even finish the full bag of rice I always have stuff left over but it is so nice like literally oh my god mm. like I said you don't have to have used chicken you could use fish you could use sausages like I sometimes do but bloody beautiful so I'm gonna eat this and then I will check up on my clothes. I'll obviously have to rinse them, let them dry, and then when they're finished, showing you the result. And then I'll probably vlog a little bit later on when I FaceTime Jack, because literally every night in um, lockdown, we FaceTime each other if he's not at work and play this online golf game, basically. He told me to download like this. Um, I'm gonna sit you down. He got me to download like this software on my computer called like Steam. I've never heard of it, but he uses it for football manager, which he plays. You can basically download like loads of online apps on there, like games that you can play across like different computers. Like he can play it on his iMac. I can play it on my MacBook, which has been really fun actually. We downloaded Golf with Friends, which at first I was like, am I really spending 10 99 on a shitty golf game? Couldn't live without it now. Swear to God, one of the best things I've ever played. Like it is so addictive. We get so competitive and it's kind of takes your mind off not being able to see each other because it's like really fun. Like in the moment, you're just enjoying it. And it's one thing that's actually helped us a lot during lockdown. So if you have a partner, if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever your situation and you can't see him right now, seriously consider doing that because it is so fun even like if you both like watch the same film over facetime or something just something that kind of makes you feel like you're spending time together or something you usually would do together that you now can't try to do over facetime because i promise it does make like the world of a difference but yeah didn't mean for that to get like hella deep also sorry for talking my mouth open but i guess it's like a little mukbang also this light is absolutely awful why is it so dark i have no idea but i'm gonna finish this bowl of food and then i'll catch up with you a little bit later on um sorry what sorry what this has turned out so much better than i could have ever imagined i'm gonna put it on my tripod so you can see this in like all this glory i guess <laughs> i don't know if i'm just tooting my own horn because this was a success or oh, this is actually like amazing because i think this has gone pretty well to say this was like a musty discolored top and some ugly old white joggers i've basically made a brand new coward out of it I'm pretty proud like this is better than anything I could have purchased online because this is like the perfect fit everything is so nice and they've gone the most gorgeous brown I could have ever wished for so best believe I'm bloody buzzing about this and it cost me six pound because I paid three pound each for two sashes of dyes six pound for my own little cohort can't complain so if any of you guys have any old like crusty dusty musty clothes in your wardrobe that need a little refresh revamp just buy yourself some dye you don't even have to be brown whatever color you fancy whack it in a bucket mix it wash it dry it and you've got your own little creation <laughs> my mind is blown like i don't know why i didn't expect this to work out but it has and i'm bloody buzzing about it like catch me in this every single day be on my instagram pretty soon 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 can't even speak i'm excited Woo! i know the lighting is terrible but <sighs> Hopefully you can see the colour a little bit better here. Like obviously for a first attempt, I don't think it's too bad. And I don't know if you guys know, but obviously like the stitching is not going to dye or anything like that because that's synthetic. So anything you do dye, that's going to stay white. But I think it kind of looks nice, especially because this has like the whole sort of like design. I don't really know what you call it, but yeah. These toggles have gone a little bit dark, which I think looks really cute. But these like stay inside the joggers anyway, you don't even see these. But I'm honestly obsessed and I have like a nude sweatshirt, which I don't wear anymore, which has black contrast stitching. So I'm tempted to try that and see how that turns out. But yeah, if any of you guys do decide to dye your clothes brown and whatnot please tag me on instagram or like send me a dm or something because i really want to see how it turns out but this was a success and i'm bloody buzzing oh 
Okay, I'm already over the total part and we're not even near the end yet, so... Uh, love that for me, but I'm going to finish playing this and eating the rest of these sweets uh, with Jack. Holy moly, this is not a look, but it's currently quarter to 11, so I'm going to get myself to bed. I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. Sorry it wasn't anything like crazy interesting, but obviously it's locked down. Very limited to things I can do, and to be honest, this is probably the most I've done in the past month, which is kind of bad, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. Do let me know any of the videos that you want to see from me. Genuinely open to anything, as long as it's appropriate for YouTube. <laughs> oh, I'm going delusional, but... Give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! S O S, never guess, cause I know Mama told me that I'm blessed, but he never on the show. Get impressed, cause I'm dope. You don't smoke, what you mean? Keep it potent as the green, so you know this happy tree.